up everybody uh in this video i want to talk to you about wwe's undertaker now for the past 20 something years i think what 25 26 years undertaker been wrestling and it was cool through the whole 90s era it was cool through the early 2000 era and it was somewhat cool after 2010 but now it's like when you see the undertaker it's not as exciting as it was Especially about my age, when you was younger, to see Undertaker, when he had all those superpowers and can make the ring shake, purple electricity, and that was before the badass era. I mean, Undertaker had his great moments, such as the ministry. The corporate ministry, I wasn't a big fan of, and I really don't remember. The badass Undertaker riding a motorcycle, band down on his head, talk more. It was cool. But when he went to his old form, it was somewhat cool, but at that point, it was like, yeah, I mean, since his last, last what, six years, you had his good points and his high points. You no know, WrestleMania, he wrestled half wet time of the year, most of the year. And WrestleMania used to be exciting, fighting people like Shawn Michaels, Triple H. But like lately, it's just been like, dude, you're you're too old. You need to know when enough is enough. Please don't end up like Ric Flair, still wrestling, and he's in his what late sixties, early seventies. You know, like that Hulk Hogan, who still wrestled for a short period of time after he retired in WWE, went on a TNA and still wrestled like Ric Flair ass for some odd nose reason. But my point is, Bill, is I honestly think that Untaker should literally retire. I thought he would do that when that incident happened with him and Brock Lesnar. He seriously got hurt and injured at WrestleMania, and he lost the streak. I'm like, okay, finally, your ass can rest in peace. You've been doing it way too long. Honestly, you fought Shawn Michaels and he retired. Dude, it's time for your ass to retire. You've been in the game before or Shawn Michaels somewhat. No, Michaels was first. Anywho, you're older than Shawn Michaels, so your ass need to go ahead and retire. And honestly, that's the point of the whole video. Now, I know a lot of people who probably watch this video. I hope I can get more followers, but still. A lot of people that probably watching the video is like, no. Undertaker should never retire. He's he's too damn old. Anytime you got a wrestler who's older than you and in better shape like Sting, you need to retire. Come on. Point blank period. Yeah, you had your good eras. You had your good moments. You fought the good fight, Taker. But I honestly think he should go ahead and retire. I mean, look at it. Undertaker barely fight through the whole year anymore. He mostly pop up for WrestleMania now, so it's like pointless. For him to even show up on Bray Wyatt, that was like, what the fuck? Really? Now you trying to bring back the Brothers of Destruction? Hell no. You're too old and Kane too fucking slow. And speaking of retirement, Kane, the big red machine. You're not the 90s Kane. That was the best era of Kane, period, was 90s. Kane was strong. Kang can do shit. Kang can last longer. It will even for Kang to pop up. In the video games, you cannot bring Kang down for shit. You got to literally use your finisher on him like 10 times to stop Kang. And 20 times to stop Taker. Of course, Undertaker always been stronger than Kang. But the period, point being, they're too old. They should go ahead, sit somewhere on the long beach, some down where together, and retire. And if, spoiler... So anybody who's watching this video who did not know this, Kang and Undertaker are not brothers. That is correct. They are not brothers. They are not related in any way. All the only thing that they have in common is that they're best friends like Edge and Christian is. Best friends. Other than that, they are not related. They are not brothers. So basically what I'm saying is go somewhere and retire. Because Kang, you're too damn slow. And Take, you're too damn old. I mean, come on. Give it up. Y'all been wrestling since I was a little kid. I'm a grown ass man now. And some of my cousins have kids that's now 10 years old and they like, who is this old guy? Why are you still fighting? Come on. Give it up. Now, to anybody that's watching this video, I want to say this. What is your opinion? You think Kang and Undertaker should go ahead and retire or you think they can last another 10 more years? Horrible years. <laughs> um, so, after you leave your comments, hope you all like and enjoy the video. And I hope that you please subscribe because I'm having more topics and stuff I want to discuss all the time.